you're finally here, Spider-Man No Way Home. And like I said in my last video, I'm going to give this my first full death video. And I'm going to do it in two sessions. The first session is going to be spoiler free. And the second session where we put a mark on it, I will tell people, if you haven't seen the movie, don't watch the rest of the video. Because I will go to detail with the spoilers. But first, I'm going to be spoiler free with this, you know, review of... Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, how I start this, how can I start this? Yeah, it's it's worth it. All the hype, all the um, rumors, basically everything that we're hopeful for this film, it delivers and it delivers to the next level too. With all the rumors, again, some is not true, but some it is. Again, I'm not gonna go detail until the next session, but yeah. It's mind blown. There's a lot of stuff in there I'm not inspecting. There's some got people got, got white, but with the white comes I I thought something different. Like again I'll go through the next session. But what I'm saying the plot is again this is the plot, again not spoilers this is spoilers free. It's about um it's straight after the last film where Ellen find out that Peter Parker is Spider Man and what it does well is it's dealing with today's media where I don't see a full story but it did two as I did an argument did like two sides don't like that court case with, with that uh, guy who shot all three people you know there's two sides to that story too again I'm not going to that because at the end of the day that's no argument but basically there's people on the Spider-Man side saying that yeah he's a hero you know he wouldn't do this but there are other people on the side who love me to Eon where don't forget he, in the last film people loved to him he was their superhero and people in the, and I didn't even see he was a villain and they seen it that's the thing so that's the thing on media so that's done a very good job on that and then because he got brought into that and that's where his plans go to cause not just him with two other fr friends you know anyway it, you know, it goes to cause and basically it tried to apply to causes and it all got rejected, including the two, you know, you know, MJ I'm think you know, MJ I name what his name his best mate. You know, that's the thing about it and it is so fucked up. But again, that probably would happen in real life where it did means you know, it means you know, interference in, you know, like that kid again before that kid who talked up people, he probably can't go to college now and he won't get in because of the controversy of, you know <laughs> you know there's the controversy of, you know, what he done and it's the same with this. You know, Peter Parker had done it, but there's like you said, the way the, with the story was told, you know, the you know, the news articles were told, it's it is fucked up. So he tried to do that and then he, somehow he managed to do it, but I'll try to follow that. He got to strains, then he asked for a spell, and then he fucked up the spell. Again, it's different from the trailer. Again, I'm not going to give much to this, because it is different from the trailer. It does the spell, and then he tried, to, and then Dr. Strain said something, which is funny anyway. They said he tried, asked, you know, fighting against it in appeal with not getting with different calls, and he said no, and Strain just kicked him out. So he went to find this woman. Who's you know really one of the members of the board you know who's pickled to calls all that, and basically and basically what happens is, Doc Ock shows up you know, from the spell all the villains are so well the first one's Doc Ock and he saves it and he said yeah you you know I'm gonna try to get you in and and your friends, so he's half with that but then he finds out what he said there's not what one there's multiple villains. Strange gets him and says, "Listen, we need to get these villains because they are wrecking the timeline." And that's basically it. And then, basically, he had um, you know, I tell you, friends, he look for the villains. He gets mo all of them. This is just the thing too. He get all of them dead quick. That's the thing with this. You get all of them dead quick in this. But this is the um, the interest. This is like the interesting part now. This is the um, internet part in um, what you call it? In <laughs> so is it a part? Then he finds out that the villains 
it all got connection that they got sent to you know in this dimension you know in this time you know this universe and you're about to die all of them so he's feeling of he said i'm back we can't say i'm back which is again in in his answer you can't say i'm back you know, can't just say i'm back you know and then he said fine every second day he found that twist out later on he said oh fuck you know what i mean so yeah, so him and Doctor Strange had an argument, and Verity did a mini soul down, which is a fantastic scene. And God, it affects his beautifulness. And Verity, it's it's again, I can't go more no more story than that because the rest would be big spoilers. But I can go all the stuff way saying the acting is probably is the best part. It's amazing. Everyone performed so well in this, including like the side characters, you know, including and the side characters like Ned and you know MJ, you know, in the sidekick in this. But like I said they have big parts in this too, and it is a beautiful, it is a very beautiful film. The looks, the effects, and like I saying the tippy food of all the villains is doing so well, and the actors who are playing, you know. They sell the you know their own power from years ago and going back to this, a like it's a star film yesterday. That's how good they are. Will Defoe stole the soul in this. He is unbelievable in this, and he proves. And I know he is cheesy, Green Goblin, but he proves that why he is one of the best villains in Spider Man. Yet he does have like I said the cheesy lines, but God. He is. He does deliver in this, and why well, said this is a fantastic film. And why well, I said the score is fantastic. Again, I can't think no more with this. And it, it, it again, this film set up. Um, this makes me think. Go back to the other two films. Oh, like they are so connected so well together. This is a very, very good trilogy. And also, God, this is. I can't think of nothing good, bad I can say about this film. There is one bad thing, but at the same time, I go over the spoilers, but at the same time, that could set up for, for future films. Again, I'm not going to do that bit until it got to the spoilers. But, yeah, I will look forward to more from this movie franchise. I can't wait to see more from, you know, this new, the next films we're getting. Because that's been confirmed, again, there's not spoilers, it's been confirmed that we're getting on North Hills. And I can't wait to see more of this movie. Now, I'm gonna go over to the spoiler section. Okay, now, you know, there's gonna be all spoilers now. So, if you make it this far and you haven't seen it, stop the video, watch the movie, then watch this. I can go through spoilers. And then after the spoilers, I'll go give my final thoughts. I'll put the time frame on, you know, the video where I'll give my final thoughts on the score. So, three, two, one. I'm going to warn you now, this is going to be spoilers. Ready? Okay, we're on the spoiler session now. And let's get, out, let's get this out of the room. Let's get the everything out of the room. Toby and Andrew are in the movie. They are in the movie. And what shocked me is, it put, I knew it'd be in the movie, what shocked me is how long it in the movie. I thought it'd be in like the last 10 minutes, it in longer. But I got more detail when they get to that point. The first point, this, again, this is what shocked me too. Yeah, there was rumours and there was leaf on this one. And there was hint last, you know, with the last um, Hawkeye episode, this could happen. But I was shocked how early they put him in. I thought it'd be like at the credit scene. No, he was in right to begin the movie. Daredevil is back. He is back. He is now confirmed in the MCU. And he got the, the same actor too in the Netflix series. God. And again, I know I'm not, not too soft with that because I did the week and last week episode with the Kingpin is back. You know, this confirms they are back. Daredevil is coming back in some form. Again, we're not sure about details yet because it's too early. Obviously, the last episode haven't came out for Hawkeye yet. And we have got like one. This is only thing. So only one scene with Strange, not Strange, sorry, with you know, Daredevil. 
you know, Daredevil is back, and I can't wait to see more Daredevil. Because like I said, Daredevil, it was is my one of my favorite Marvel shows, back you know back in the day. Now, the big point of the plot, why like I said before, why like I said before, it got all the villains, and it had that show down with Strange. After that, somehow Spiderman trashed Strange, and he decided to try to cure eat the heroes, which well, he does. Why like I said. He helped, what you call it, Doc Ock. He actually helped him with the tip, and, and that's another thing too. He done well. He actually go detail with the, you know, what I said with the movies and went to tip. He actually so detail with the tip is fine, as you remember in Spider Man Two, and he fixes that and straight, and he become good. He about to help Electro with this test thing, but disaster strikes. This disaster starts to strike with what you call it with Green Goblin. This thing, most of the film, you know, Green Goblin, you know, it, it wasn't the bad side of him, it was, you know, the normal side of him, and he was scared, he said, I want help. But then his bad side took over once he found out that, you know, he's going to get a cure, he's about to get cured. And did a big soul down. You know, half the villains don't trust Parker because you know about the death thing. So Sandman leaves. <laughs> and then um, what do you call it? The rest so take his tech piece up just before he about to kill him. He's so he takes the star to orange, he trying to get power for it, he leaves too. Lizard goes away too, because again he wants the world to be lizard people still. And then this the, the disaster strikes. Aunt May was trying to escape the building. And virtually the Green Goblin kills Aunt May. Yep, this is the big twist in this. Aunt May dies in this. Just like the comics that you know the, the one that no one liked, Aunt May dies. But it but it fixes it it delivers so much better than this. Because she's the one that says you know about being responsible you know then you know what you call that famous line with great power with comes with great responsibility she's the one that says it she's the one she is the orphan story of spider-man so very deep the way people complain about where's the orphan story of spider-man we've been watching the whole fucking time in these three films this is spider-man orphan story and i got me that shocked me been, wow and you that's and you look back to the first two films, it made kind of sense. The first one is about responsibility, you know. You know, about responsibility, you know, saying the people the right, you can't just jump in there. The second one is harder, and but some, again, you gotta be careful, like, what happened at the end. You know, the villain got the last laugh with a villain, and then, you know, identity. This one, he lost his aunt, May. she lost, you know, her aunt. He lost, you know, her, you know, it was heartbreaking for him. It was heartbreaking and it was wow. Again, C Draper's unbelievable, unbelievable performance from her. You know, I'm just, you know, that shocked me. of a wow. I know in the comments based on one day more, Aunt May do die and she comes back with you know with the devil, but she don't. This is the thing too. She don't in this. She's gone. She is dead. So that is wow. Then this was me fucked up. You got that sad scene, and and then basically five minutes later, Andrew Garfield shows up. <laughs> Cause how it happened was again dead fucking smart. Cause remember in the A battle I told I told about Strange versus Spider Man, the way he tracked Strange. Spider-Man took his wing, his, you know, wing where he made the portals, he took that, so that's why Strange can't go back straight away, so, so what, so what happened is, he gave MJ the box, you know, with, uh, you know, his practice button, all the villains will go back to the universes, but he, like I said, he wanted to cure them first, so he gave the box of mine, and he gave Ned the Strange thing, so, meanwhile, he heard the news of, you know, basically told and died and he had a feeling that it's going to be something fucked up so he tried to find Peter Parker and then 
he was messing around with it and somehow he made a portal and there's a spider-man i remember i thought oh it's tom holland crying nope it comes in more close and closer it's not tom holland it's andrew garfield spider-man wearing his outfit he then he takes the hood off it's andrew garfield and then he had a little laugh around saying oh you will you know all that stuff and then a couple of minutes later he tried to do the portal thing again and toby comes in and that's what that got me emotional because that was my spider-man that was going up toy mcguire and god he looks so good in this <laughs> you put a bit of weight on but again what is best it's been how many years since you know he performed spider-man so yeah you know so somehow then a fan home and then it go to about you know the experiences basically and then home it is he, 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 he this scene he still lives in this scene he you can see the pain in him he is so hurt you know losing the you know the to losing his aunt like that it was a this thing to the death was terrible it was a sad death and firstly you know it got the backstory and all that and then they decided to try to kill the villains and then send them back and then in that final show down which you've probably seen the trailer with that leak with the lizard getting you know like a ghost punched him yeah that is andy garfield kicking the lizard <laughs> you know fantastic scene you know fantastic it is all fantastic and then you get the other bit with mj falling down on the trailer that bit shows up and tom Holland get put by green goblin who has he gone for to the death and then andrew comes in and saves her and then on that bit then and oh god the actor andrew garfield why are you saying tick tick boom he is getting better and better at an acting his emotional because he realized that he failed to say gwen but he said you know mj you know in the same way and he feel relieved that he you know he didn't do you know he didn't miss twice you know they caught up twice but in, i said in made by man too gwen died in the same way basically so basically it goes to the final showdown with holland versus you know tom holland spiderman versus green gum this is the bit i got a bit iffy on because it's a fantastic scene holland grab Holland beating them up virtually is angry he's pissed off because like i said you know i'm either one that came out me he punched him non-stop then he grabbed his glider he's about to stab him and then mcguire comes in saves him and people say what's wrong with that scene again not one good scene the problem is he never learned from it he never learned that he just always temper but i gotta explain that in a minute why i said i do fix it on the after credit scene i do fix it i gotta give my reason why why I fix it and then basically before you know the last showdown you know before and go fucks up you know the most you know the uv is a class and it all coming down and strange said uh, it, it's coming in it's coming in and then Holmes says what if ellen forgets about me as spider-man because that's the reason why it all coming because he caught it with the spell and he said but ellen will forget he said yeah and then basically he too to make a sacrifice to make ellen forget he was spider-man so he's on his own now and he tried to go to see mj one more he tried to see mj and and ned was there in the cafe and then he decided himself to protect them you know he promised them to talk you know to try and make me remember him he decided himself that he, he won't protect them he won't them have their own lives again the message of this film about being a true hero about you know making sacrifices if you want to be a hero you gotta make sacrifices sometimes you need to make sacrifices and this show is so fucking well and the message in this film where he said in all the spider-man media in a way he said with, with they come great with great power come great responsibility and that shows it here so you don't have a tech orange no more he made his own suit so now he got his own flat so now the next three films he's by himself you got no aunt may you got no, you know no one you got no friends he's by himself and that's why i'm looking for just next priority now the after scene the first one the reason why i said before what fixes the tom honed you know temper thing you know he about to you know 
Goblin, you know, you're about to murder Goblin, is we see Tom Holland reminisce on the after credits in a bar. He's about to see Tom Holland. He's about to see the Tom Holland Spider Man. And then, like I said, with before with Strange done the magic, all the um, UBS car got sent back. Or did it? A piece of realm got left behind. A piece of the material of realm got left behind. So I'm thinking now, one I don't know going to be the next one or one of the next three films. Tom Holland, Spider Man will go and get that realm thing on him. And you're going to learn about to show his anger. And that's going to be one of the films. That's why. And then you're going to realize he's almost murdered someone in the past, you know, in the last film. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And what do I, what does do this mean with the realm? Because the way I said they confirmed realm with the Spider Man. I've got a feeling it's going to be Tom. Not Tom. Um, it's going to be Andrew Garfield Spider Man. You know, it could be Andrew Garfield Spider Man. Imagine you do two sets of Spider Man films one for the MCU and one for the Sony. And the Sony one's gonna be Andrew Garfield or Toby, but I've got a feeling more likely it's gonna be um, Andrew Garfield because he's younger. And meanwhile, Tom Holland, he's still going to team his Spider Man films in the MCU. That's why I think it's gonna happen in this. That's why I think it'll happen in this. And then we've got one more after credit scene, there's two. And the last, the last one is quite unusual, it's not a after credit scene, it's a trailer. And this is a no bomb cell, this is one. I, there were rumours but I couldn't see it I was hoping it's, you know it, they, and it, it ended up being true and we got the trailer for Doctor New Doctor Strange movie and it looked fucking fantastic at the end of the trailer we got the dark Doctor Strange yep but again there could be a different strains but by what it this is the strains from the what if so from that probably one of the best episodes on the office so and that was mind blown this is fantastic i mean oh my god you know oh my god fuck yes fuck yes and again that is now my number one most want to see film of next year i hope there's no lockdown in march but god it was fucking fantastic you know and again this film was my bone. It is my bone, and the future of the MCU looks better than ever. I know some people are saying, oh, eh. but with these, wait, on oh my, on oh my souls, on the souls, what I've done with the souls in, in development now, with the movies in development now, I can't wait for more for this universe. Now I go to the last part where I go to my final part now. Okay. See ya. Okay, here's my final thoughts of Spider Man Away Home. And like I say, it's fantastic. It's a good story. It's story driven. The score's fantastic. The, for, the performers and all the actors are superb, including Willem Dafoe stole the soul. And why is it my TikTok, which you can follow below? It is. 9 out of 10 it's a 9 out of 10 film for me it is up there and I think it's the best by my movie it is unbelievable I think people need to see this film try to avoid spoilers if you can because like I said with the you know it might ruin your experience obviously and what got me this I saw this the, not the first day in the UK I saw this in the second day in the UK and people was a pawn and in UK cinemas, you know UK cinemas, people don't know you before the crap on day time and on only time to do that is the midnight screen and this wasn't a midnight screen I saw. I saw this again on the second day, on the Thursday, because it came out on a Wednesday. I saw it on Thursday a half five. And people were a pawn. People was clapping, people was tearing and the experience in the cinema is unbelievable and this is why we need cinemas. I know we're all going towards steaming but there's nothing we can go to the cinema and this is one of those films that you need to go to see. You need to see in, see in theaters because the experience is there. It, God, it, like I say, it's a fantastic film. See this film. Please see this film because this is it's good 
that's what I can say. Yeah, yeah, I know people say why didn't put in defender. Yeah, I wish I did, but at the same time, I would be fair. We call it any other film that year. Would people would say Spider Man? That's why I give West Side Story because I said West Side Story is very good. And with Spider Man, it's unbelievable. It is unbelievable, and all the reviews is the waves. The reason there's a reason why it's ninety five percent. I took the time recording this video, it's 95% on what's for days old. You know, it's, it's the waves there. So I say it's 9 out of 10. See this film. Please see this film. And this is the Brit Who Cares. Who's stuff. And see you on the next video. See ya.